It's Robert awake. I need to speak to him. You can't. He's still in custody. All night? This is bad, isn't it? We don't know that. You saw the state of Lee. And if they've kept Robert in this long, it has to be, doesn't it? Vic, it's me. I'm just checking you're okay after yesterday. Cos I ring if you need us. Oh, yes, she is. Mother of the year. We're sleeping with me fella, not enough for you. You had to drop us in it with Karen and all. Look, I'm sorry for getting her mixed up with your solicitor, but I didn't know I was trying to help. And you blabbed about Kyle. Well, you heard her. If I don't get her money today, she's gonna mess it all up for us. Hey! Oh, hiya! Ah, oh, look at you! Are you playing cowboys? Kyle, come and help Debbie. I told you to stay away from him. You can't stop us seeing him. I can do what I like. I gave you access, and then I took it away again. Right, well, let's see what the court say, shall we? It's a different person now. She's got every chance of getting custody, so... Not anymore. If I don't get Karen her money, I'm finished. Frank? Frank? Where have you been? Nowhere. What? I thought I heard the front door go. <laughs> You are imagining things. You didn't come to bed last night. I woke up and you weren't there. <sighs> oh, I fell asleep in front of the TV again. So sorry. So you're still not feeling pepped up after all that pampering yesterday? Well, I've got the day off work. If you need to administer again. Mm, I might have to. So, what happened? Release pending further investigation. At least they haven't charged you. No, not yet. They're still waiting to interview Lee. How is he? He's still in intensive care. Why did you do it? Hitting him with a shovel? Well, I had to protect myself somehow. I didn't start the fight yesterday. Lee did. We got outside and he started on me. I reached for the shovel to keep him away and that's what you saw. But you were angry too. The way he was when he was demanding more money. He went for me. Look, you can see for yourself. But he's not going to say that to the police, though, is he? Is he going to deny it, or...? That'll be them now. Hello? Yeah, I'll, I'll come to the station now. Tell them it was self-defence, that you saw Lee throw the first punch. Please, Vic, if you back me up, it doesn't matter what Lee says, I'll have a witness. He said yes then. Congratulations. You're as mad as she is accepting a proposal from someone you're not even with. Actually, I was the one who proposed to Bernice. <gasps> was it dead romantic? The setting let us down a little. Where were you? She doesn't need to know the details. Yes, I do. The ladies' lavatory in the pub. You asked for a hand in marriage in a bog. Oh, I hope she washed it first. <laughs> you can mock all you like, but it was a beautiful moment. No, I'm off to buy the ring in a minute, but don't say anything to Mum, because I haven't told her yet. Yeah. She could do with some cheering up after Robert's antics. Well, what's he done now? Didn't you hear about the fight yesterday? Oh, why would we? We were too busy celebrating. Robert attacked the lad who raped Victoria. It was outside Mill. Jimmy saw him carted off in an ambulance out cold, apparently, and then the police turned up for Robert. Was well, he in trouble? He whacked the lad with a shovel, Liam. I think it's going to get more than a slap on the wrist. Four thousand pound. Ames! That's nothing to you. Yes, of course, I can guarantee the repayment. Off I and stuff you then. Thanks for nothing. Who was that? The bank refusing us a loan. Very right, well. That's option one out the window. I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you. Excuse me. I didn't borrow money off her. It's not my fault she tracks you down as far as the wool pack. Look, she was asking folk if they'd seen you, and if it hadn't been me, somebody else would have led her straight to you. Well, she's found us now, and she's going to report us for theft. Theft? Right, I don't know what you've got yourself into. You better start talking, girl. So, let me get this straight. 
You're saying that you stepped out the house just in time to see Mr Posner throw the first punch? That's right. But how do you know it was the first? Well, they were just arguing before that. Robert told Lee to go and Lee started on him. And what were they arguing about exactly? Lee Posner raped me and I fell pregnant by him. Now he thinks he's got rights to the baby. We are aware of the allegations against him. Robert didn't start the fight yesterday. Lee did. Kept punching him. And what did Robert do? He hit him back a few times, but that was only to defend himself. Who had the upper hand? Lee did. In what way? Well, Robert was backing off and Lee just kept attacking him. Backing off? Yeah, to protect himself. But then Lee went for him and that is when Rob grabbed the shovel and hit him. So you're telling us that Robert struck Mr Posner in self-defence? Yeah. When I moved to Belfast, I met this lad called Dylan. Everything was great at first. We moved in together, both had jobs. I was working all hours and I thought he was too. But it turned out he was in the pub spending money quicker than I could earn it. <laughs> met a few of them in my time. He started racking up debts. Credit cards, phones, rent. He had bad credit, so everything was in my name. When I confronted him about it, that's when he turned nasty. Nasty? What? Was he violent with you? Sometimes. He was jealous too. Got it in his head that I fancied some lad at work. Stopped us going. I lost my job. That's when things turned really bad. Gosh. Amy. I'm so sorry I didn't know. He made us take out another loan. He said it was legit and he promised he'd help us pay it back, but a couple of days later he was gone. What, and he just left you to deal with it? I couldn't. Kevin was a mate from work. She sold her car for cash. I had loan sharks threatening to break both my arms. I stole her money to pay them back, and I liked it. Four thousand pound. Four and a half. I was always going to pay her back. She got hold of my number, and she started hassling us. That's why I went back to Belfast to sort it out. I'd saved up £500, but when I gave it to her, she flipped out, said she was going to phone the police. Right, I've got a few hundred quid. Put by. It's not brilliant, but it'll do. She wants all of it. Yeah, and we'll find a way of paying her. I promise. Jay, how can I help? What, today? I'm supposed to be off. Oh, is there no one else you can ask? Well, in that case, I don't have much choice. Jay wants me to work a late shift. Again? Just tell him to jog on. I can't. There's an urgent order that needs to get out, so it's all hands on deck. Well, Tracy's right. You can't keep running yourself ragged for other people. Yeah, it needs must, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Here comes your Wild West hero. <clears throat> And? And carpe diem. Carpet what? He means quit stalling and go for it. Fine. Hey, cowboy! What you? <laughs> hey. I keep having flashbacks about you on that horse looking smoking hot yesterday. Well, you don't climb in the saddle unless you're ready to ride. Oh, I'm ready. I thought you weren't, weren't going to make this easy for me. Yeah, so did I, but then I got thinking, you know, we're both young, free and single, and if you fancy me as much as I fancy you, then what are we actually waiting for? Oh, Robert, I've been trying to call you. Yeah, there's no news. Everything's been put on hold until Lee gives his statement. Well, when's that going to be? 
The police are with him now at the hospital. So he's OK, then? I guess, yeah. yeah. Who would have heard if he wasn't? You know, if he came by causing trouble, you should have gone to the police, not taking matters into your own hands. Well, if they can't charge him for rape, maybe they can do him for harassment. He is harassing us. He came back demanding money and a public apology. I told him no, and he turned around and attacked me. He attacked you? Well, why else do you think I hit him? I was acting in self-defence. What's he want money for, anyway? I mean, that's just nuts. Well, I want him out of my life. He won't go unless I pay him. So tell the police that and it'll all be over. It'll never be over. If you knew the truth, you'd understand. So enlighten us. Hey, everyone! I'm engaged! And I'm pregnant. to say something. Congratulations, Benice and Liam. Of course. Sorry. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm delighted for the pair of you. Thank you. They were over the moon. I feel awful for blundering in now. I'm only pregnant. It's not happened the way I would have liked, but it's real and I'm OK with it. And I'd really like it if we were all too. Of course we are. That's what you want. Listen, we'll support you all the way. Thank you. So is that why Lee was sniffing round? Or is he just after money? He's saying he wants rights to the baby. The mother's driving it. He's only doing it so that he can make Victoria's life a misery. Right, but he's solid, yeah. Do you know, if I'd been there, I'd have belted him. Yeah, you and me both. <sighs> I've wished him harm myself at times. He deserves to be laid up in hospital. Shame it's not a morgue. Why didn't you tell me any of this? Well, I had to keep it private for Victoria's sake. She's been through hell. And that's not going to end any time soon. Especially now she's having his baby. Exactly. That's why we've had to take drastic measures. Sounds ominous. Me and Victoria are moving to Cornwall. Cornwall? And you never thought to mention it? I wanted to tell you, but I kept putting it off because I knew you'd be upset. <laughs> of course I'm upset. Losing my mum. The cabbage is no grandma. You and Liam are starting a new chapter. So is Victoria, but she can't have the baby here. We've got to get as far away as possible from Lee and his mother. Or she'll be a wreck. Are you sure about this? Look, Carrie's not here. I'll bolt the door from the inside, if you like. So we've really got the place to ourselves. About me and you, I mean. Things kind of went pear-shaped last time. Yeah, I don't want a relationship, if that's what you're worried about. Uh, I don't either. Just a friend. With benefits, obviously. Sounds like we both want the same thing. Right. So now we've got that straight, will you please shut up and kiss me? Keep cool, Head. Hiya. Please tell me you've got no money. I've got some of it. Months to get a hold of it. I gave you everything I had when I came to Belfast. I'm only working a couple of shifts in the local shop. I can barely afford to live, never mind save. And you think I made of money? That car was all I had. I sold it because it was broke and you took the lot. I'm so sorry. You never said. I was desperate. I had blokes threatening to break me arms. And I paid for it. I was sick of chasing you, Amy. I won my money today. I ran for the war yesterday. How good's that? Well, yeah, there's some good comfort. Yeah, right, I'm gonna get a takeout. What do you want? No, I'll get these. No, no, my shout. I'm gonna say thanks for helping me play up for. Oh, uh, I'll have a bacon, butter, and a tea. Yeah? Okay, right, I'm just nip to the loo first. It's 400. I will get you the rest. Just need a couple of days. And what about that son of yours? I could go to the police right now and report you. You think they'll grant custody to a convicted thief? One more day. We'll get your money, I swear. My flight's at five tomorrow. I'll meet you at two. No more chances. If you don't have it, I'm going straight to the police. Okay. 
Saw you slip off. Tired, Aaron. Tired of Lee. Tired of Robert. You know, Lee could have died yesterday. And that'd be Rob's life over as well. I thought I did want him dead. He even said it to his face. You want justice, that's all. Same as the rest of us. But that's not justice. It's making a bad situation even worse. And when I saw Lee lying on the ground unconscious, I realised that. And then... I willed him to live. So did I. Not just for Robert's sake. I want him to live with the guilt of what he did to you. What guilt? He's in denial now, but he'll catch up with him eventually. I caught up with Gordon. You know, he never showed me one scrap of remorse. And then when he died, I thought he got away with it. And if it hadn't been for Jason, I still would. That's the guy who bullied you in prison? <sighs> Gordon admitted it to him. Said he hated himself for what he did. And although I was happy, I still felt cheated. Do you really think Lee will admit it one day? He has to. Even if it's just to himself. And it might take years, but you can still hope. And you have to, Vic. Robin can kick off all he likes. That's the only real bit of justice you're gonna get. Thanks for buying us more time. What am I gonna do now? I said I'd get you the money and I meant it. How are we going to get it by tomorrow? You could always try tapping up the bank of Pollard. Oh, hi. Hi, Eric. Do you mind bailing us out? I've accidentally robbed someone. Who's that woman you're talking to? What's got to do with you? Are you in trouble? No. One foot wrong, you won't be seeing Carl again. Great. Now I've got Kane on my bag as well. Oh, ignore him. He's gotten out on you. He will this time tomorrow. You are not losing Kyle, all right? I don't care what it takes. I'm your mum and I'm getting you that money. It's not fair, Jay, making you work at short notice. Well, I've messed him about lately. This might get me back on his good books. Well, make sure he gives you tomorrow off at least. Yeah, I'll ring him and make sure of it. No, please don't. I can take care of this. Don't let him mess you around, Dad. <clears throat> I am going to have to love you. And leave you, I'm afraid. Why don't you draw your mummies a nice picture? Sorry to dash. Mm. Bring Johnny around again soon, yeah? Mm, I'll let you recharge your batteries first. Oh, yeah. If you fall asleep on the job, don't say I didn't warn you. Look, trust oh. me. <laughs> It'll all be worth it in the end. Oh, oh Johnny, look. Oh, <laughs> look at the green kiss. Oh, nice. Jay, it's Frank. I can't work this shift after all, I'm afraid. I'm feeling too ill. I know I'm letting you down again, I'm sorry, but it can't be helped. I yeah, know Mum drives me mad sometimes, but I still really miss her. Well, you got me. I'll look after you. Still, I suppose we get the house to ourselves. We could move into her room and change that awful wallpaper. <laughs> How is that happy couple? Mum, get the fizz in, we're celebrating. Oh, not much to celebrate with Mum moving to Cornwall. Cornwall? Her and Victoria are planning a new life down there. What, selling pasties? She's pregnant. Your mum? Oh, Victoria. You know, what? After... Oh, it's a game changer. There you are. This ends here, OK? When Lee walks out that hospital, no more retaliating. Well, that depends on him. No, I mean it, Robert. Whatever he throws at us, we take it and we don't react. Well, just let him get away with it. We're not. The only justice we'll get is if he faces up to what he's done and he hates himself for it. Well, 
I'll take it Lee's given his statement. No, 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 yeah. We just spoke to his doctor. Mr. Posner's still in a coma. A coma? If and when he does wake up and he's well enough to give a statement, we'll call you in for further questioning. What do you mean, if? Given his injuries, there is a chance he may not regain consciousness at all. You might want to prepare yourself. If Mr. Posner's condition does deteriorate, you could be looking at a charge of attempted murder. Or worse. Malcolm has plans to drain his new wife's savings. Stay with us as The Widower continues tonight at 9. And if you missed any of Wild Bill, you can catch up on every episode via ITV Hub. Coronation Street is next. <laughs>